finally got on the bus, the local bus. You basically just have to wave it down. It doesn't have any stops or a schedule or anything. This is how you ride the bus in Thailand. communicate with these people speak English but just like not they only know a few words and what they don't know your word you're kind of <laughs> one of my first just one of my first Thai pharmacy for my nasty toe and that was quite an experience I don't know what anything is in there Okay, so here's what happened on the bus. Okay, so we got a bus reservation from Surat Thani to Bangkok, and then from Bangkok we're taking a train to Chiang Mai, which is where we're gonna teach English. We reserved a bus instead of a train to save a little money, but we got the top of the line bus, the VIP bus is what they called it. It basically came with all the bells and whistles, huge comfortable seats and light all the way back. There was a personal TV. So the bus is supposed to be like about 12 hours. About five minutes into the bus ride, all the Thai people get up and get off this really nice bus. So we're standing outside and I can see that the bus is broken down. The bus broke down. Take all of our luggage off this big bus. So we're off the bus and we're standing there. We have no idea what's going on. No one speaks English, so no one can tell us what's going on. This other bus comes and they tell us to load all of our stuff into this bus. When we get on the charter bus, we realize there's no seats for us. Our seats were on the floor next to the driver in front of the bus, like not even in a seat on the floor next to the driver. Uh, we were so close that every time the driver shifted, he would elbow Molly in the, in the arm, which is kind of funny at that point because we figured, I don't know, they'll get us to another bus or something is going to work itself out. So we get to this huge rest stop with all these other buses and we get off the bus into this new VIP bus. We're walking up the stairs of this new VIP bus and a little Thai woman comes and stops and said no 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 go back on that crappy bus. We basically had this crappy bus what we were going to take to Bangkok instead of this nice VIP bus which I was not thrilled about. Molly got us to sit next to this really really smelly guy. I mean he was like constantly audibly and like noticeably farting. His body was like on top of her so we basically got half a seat. Not saying that we deserve VIPs. I'm not entitled to VIP but the fact that we paid for VIP and then we got this crappy little charter bus. And so we got to Bangkok at five in the morning. Disgusting city, rats running around everywhere. We basically had no idea what to do, where to go. And we got onto the train to from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. So you took me to the party, you got me to know I said you made me feel good and you feel like you're gonna explode. Never get a sleeper without an air conditioner. It's so hot in here and all I have are these like creepy little old fans. Hostel, but since it's like five in the morning, it's not open yet, so we have to go up to the secret garden on the roof. At first glance, I thought this place was pretty cool. It's on the roof, um, it's kind of well decorated. And then we looked at the, the roof, and it's entirely made out of actual like leaves. Which is pretty crazy. We basically haven't done anything today vlog worthy. So we're gonna go to the next bazaar.
bleach. I don't know what it says. We're always alright. I guess I don't believe in dryers here. Please be a close on the roof. Bingo. We're all now we have to find jobs. What's this called again? What do we get? Still got a switch blade to cut fruit. Oh, Ew. Seems like a bit of overkill, but let's see how it plays out. Whoa, that just went right through. That does not look like how dragon fruit should look. So the mission for today is to go find Thai SIM cards so we can have Thai numbers. Which we can get at 7-Eleven, I think. I hope. This whole process sounds pretty easy, but we've been doing a lot of research and it's kind of harder than it sounds. I don't really know how it works and I can't read the SIM card when we get there because it's all in Thai and so I don't know which SIM card is which. So basically I have to get a SIM card and then get the plan. I think that's how it works. We don't have GPS on our phones because we don't have any service. Basically our um, directions go like this. I hand my phone to Molly. Molly whispers directions into my ear based on the Google Maps and we try the best to find our way. But all the street signs are in Thai on our map so we basically never know where we're going. Tesco, the Walmart of Europe, and I guess the each This place is huge. I don't know if that's safe. Been working most of the day, we thought we'd um, treat ourselves a little sightseeing. Literally, right across the street from the other cool black temple is this. I just finally took my skateboard out to ride it around these back roads like are super bumpy. They're like two laps and like third lap I took my camera with me. There's a big crack in the road and uh, I didn't see it because I was filming and I... Son of a... Now my camera's broken so 